everybody so today's video i'm in a little bit of a different background and i'm using natural lighting rather than my studio lights and that's because a i don't have time to go and set up my studio lights because i've got revision to do and b i need to be in my bathroom to film me cutting my hair because in this video i'm going to be showing you how i cut my hair and yes i do cut my own hair myself and i have done for like well over like a couple of i would say like a couple of years or more i've cut my own hair and i always keep it quite long sometimes i even cut it short so um a few months ago i i think i cut about i think i actually cut about that much hair off um and i think when you've got long hair that's something that's quite easy to do i find cutting my hair very easy and I don't know, I just quite enjoy it really. You can't really go wrong when you've got long hair to play with. I know there'll be a lot of people out there like, oh, you shouldn't cut your own hair, it damages it, whatever. I'm not gonna pay like 25 pound for a trim when I can just do it myself. And it looks fine to me, I'm happy with it. So as long as I'm happy with it, that's all that matters. This is not me telling you how to do it. This is me telling you how I do it. So this is basically kind of this video. I'm not really entirely sure how to do this or how to show you me cutting my hair, but I'm just gonna do it. And this video isn't planned at all. I literally only decided I was gonna film this yesterday because I needed to cut my hair. Um, so before we start, if you ever want to cut your own hair for whatever reason, you you do need some hairdressing scissors these scissors here are ones that my nana gave me she is a hairdresser um or was a used to be a hairdresser and she gave me these scissors and she did tell me they were about 40 pounds they are very expensive but they're meant for hair so obviously they're going to be like you know really good for cutting your hair normal scissors like your everyday scissors like this are a lot more blunt and they don't cut as well and they just don't cut your hair very nicely whereas the proper hairdressing scissors are actually really, really sharp and you can feel how sharp they are just by doing this. Um, so you should only cut hair using these scissors. Um, but these are the ones that I've got and these are what I use to cut my hair. So the first thing that I actually do is just comb my, is just comb my hair. Sorry, they were the, the scissors that are not for cutting hair so that's handy they were like two pounds from tesco so that was a good job i dropped them instead um but yeah i'm just going to brush my hair through i think it's really important when you cut your own hair to make sure that it's quite straight all i've done to my hair is i had a shower this morning and i um washed it obviously and i blow dried it and this is what it looks like when i wash and blow dry my hair um obviously if your hair isn't quite as straight as mine then you could straighten it um obviously you want your hair to be straight unless you have curly hair um because you know if you've curled it yourself and then you cut it when you come to straighten it it's going to be different lengths so just a little tip that in fact i do need um some hair clips okay so these i really hope i'm in focus like so badly these are the hair grips hair clips that i use they're just hair clips you know you can get them from anywhere and I pull my hair around to the side. I think cutting your own hair is definitely something that is so much easier when you do it on somebody else because then you can pull their hair behind them rather than in front of them. Um, but I just like to pull kind of a good section away. Honestly, when I cut my hair, I'm not precise necessarily. It's just get the job done, get out kind of thing. Like it's not really anything that I make too precise um but it doesn't like look that bad so there we go and i'm gonna just pull the other side up as well so we've got kind of even chunks here even though it doesn't look that even but you know you get two chunks and then you put the other bit up can't even see what i'm doing okay so the first thing that i like to do is just comb through those sections again just to make sure that obviously it's all combed through um again i'm not very precise with this i get my scissors and I'll take a small section of hair and because I'm just trimming I'm literally just gonna I'm over the bath by the way in case you're wondering and I'm literally just gonna go and trim up my hair and then you kind of cut it as blunt as you want across but then when you're happy with the length that you've cut off um, you then kind of feather it out slightly by kind of going like this and cutting it almost at angles just so that it's not like that direct blunt cut if there's any kind of really long pieces you kind of cut them off and this is kind of what the ends of my hair looks like so it looks quite kind of feathered out not just a blunt straight across cut and you can see the kind of difference in length so i'm going to move that to the side and then i'm going to grab another piece 
and I'm going to do the same to this one. So I'm going to be quite blunt with it up to the point where I want it to be cut off and then I'm going to kind of start kind of feathering it out like this. Obviously, like you don't necessarily know you've got it the same length as the other one and that's fine because then what you do is you'll bring them together like this and then you'll have a look and anything that looks quite long you kind of just cut like up to so that it's kind of the same sort of length but even if it's not the same length it doesn't matter your hair is not meant to be poker like straight along the bottom it's kind of nicely feathered so I'm going to continue doing this with the bottom part of my hair and then I'll see you when I've done that. So I've done the front section and you can probably see um, the difference. This is the side that I've cut. Sorry, I've got this little guy in the way. <laughs> this is the side that's been cut and this is the side that hasn't been cut. So it's literally just a trim. I've just trimmed my hair. Um, it's fairly even, nothing that I'm too bothered about. The, this bit here is a little bit longer. So again, you can go back in, you can kind of grab that little section and you can kind of do a little cut across you know just kind of play it by how it looks really um and i'm gonna do the same on the other side so it's pretty easy pretty quick pretty simple so i've now done both sides of the bottom part of my hair and they're quite soft actually they feel very soft um but yeah i've done both parts they're pretty even obviously it's not poke straight hair so you won't be able to necessarily tell um that it's like completely straight but they're pretty straight i'm pretty happy with them um so i'm now going to take down the bits of hair that i've put up so now we're kind of looking at the front part of the hair and again we're just going to give it a little bit of a comb or a brush um and i'm literally just going to grab my hair again and just start quitting it i'm actually taking thicker chunks now um just because you know i'm pretty confident with what i'm doing i'm just going to literally cut at it so i'm going to kind of cut across I'll try and show you probably against this towel or something. Cut across almost like this. So it's kind of cut all the way across one side and then you then feather it out by like going at it, pointing at it so that it's not so blunt. And you're probably thinking, how do you know that this is the same length as the hair I've already cut underneath? I don't so when I bring it all forward I will then know and I can obviously make changes to that but yeah this is all very hit and miss it's something I'm not really too fussed about like it's not really a massive deal to me I don't get scared to cut my hair I don't get scared if it goes wrong because it won't go wrong I know it won't go wrong and then yep yeah, the same again I'm just going to kind of cut across my hair and then we're just going to kind of feather it out oh actually there's a little bit there hang on we've got to there we go and then we're just going to kind of cut into it like this but yeah you could obviously cut out, cut um any size chunk of hair that you want you don't have to like um make it large you can don't have to just trim your hair you can cut a bigger section if you wanted to i've cut a large section of my hair off before so it can be done so again Cut, 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 just, you know, cut it roughly and then again, feather down at it. It is messy, but if you do this in the bath or into a sink or something, it's not so bad. Um, so that's that bit done. Okay, so this is now my hair done and cut pretty much. I have trimmed it and I cut quite a lot of a little bit more than a trim um, and I'm really happy with how it came out I never ever ever regret cutting my hair I've cut it so many times um, I wouldn't say that I cut it correctly I would just say this is how I cut my hair don't care what people think and yeah if obviously like I've missed a little bit or there's like a little bit that annoys me like that hangs down for example this little bit here then obviously I can cut that in a day or two or whenever it bothers me or whenever I see it but yeah this is my hair this is what it looks like um after I've finished 
just exactly the same and just to let you know i would never ever ever be able to cut um anything like professionally like a uh, bob or anything i just this is just how i know to trim my hair so it's just you know the actual trimming part i couldn't do any kind of hairstyles or anything but yeah so this is what my hair looks like very happy with the outcome and you can't really go wrong if i'm honest so obviously if you want to try this my top tips would be to get yourself a pair of hairdressing scissors you know get yourself some maybe secondhand ones if they're kind of too expensive for you to get them brand new um because obviously they are quite pricey um also next tip make sure your hair is straight when you cut it um feather out the end so that it's not poker straight because like you don't want it to be like Ch and if you do want it to be like Ch straight across then you just cut it straight across you know what i'm saying um so that's kind of like my little tips but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i just really wanted to do it um and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe for more videos and i will see you in my next video goodbye